good morning on a very snow covered garden sort of a morning um, but the sun is shining beautifully today so um we had lots of snow yesterday so that was very exciting so if you were able to get out and build a snowman or have a snowball fight that was lovely um, but just as lovely to look out on because I haven't got to go anywhere I'm here in the warm um, I've just posted a picture to say I've made it to the office without any problems. I was listening to them all scraping cars this morning. I haven't had to do any of that. I've just been and put some bird seed out for the birds and made myself a cup of tea. That's my trip to the office. Um, one of the pleasures of working for yourself and working from home. Um, there's plenty of sort of, you know, stresses and strains, but that's one of the upsides. So welcome in. My name is Helen Jennings. I am a stamping up demonstrator based here in the UK. And on a Monday morning and a Friday morning, we come on live and we have a bit of a play. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. Um, just before we start that, um, you might have seen posts going up yesterday yesterday about a new thing that I'm hoping to start in February and I'm saying hoping because um, I, I will only really start it if I've got um, reasons to start it if you like. So I've come up with this grand scheme um, of doing Dear Mrs Ducky and the idea is a bit like an agony aunt only I'm an agony crafter if you like um, so please don't write in with your um, any sort of marital or medical problems I am not going to be able to help you um, but if you follow the links on the post you will find a little form fill in the form with the issue that is driving you mad in your on, on your craft station with your card making and I will see if I can come in with some solutions so that can be about uh, how do I use this product why does this keep happening how could I get that to work how do I do this I don't know fancy fold or even I've brought this stamp set it's been sitting on my shelf I have no idea what to do with it can you give me some ideas so any of those sorts of things then um, either just drop me a message or click on that um, form and um, just fill it in and send it off and I will um, starting sort of hopefully sort of beginning of February so next week or so um, come on with an additional Facebook live so it won't be these ones it'll be an additional one um, a dear Mrs Ducky and we'll see if we can do some problem solving so whether you're an absolute beginner or whether you, you've been doing it for years hopefully between us we can find a solution so that's what that is um, there's host codes, there's my website www.leverducky.co.uk and as advertised today we're going to be playing with a touch of ink. Um, a touch of ink is one of the stamp sets that you can get um, free with a purchase in the celebration catalogue this year so celebration of course runs from um, the beginning of January through till the end of February um, and this particular stamp set is one of the items that you can get if you're here in the UK with a £90 order so it is a um, a sort of level two celebration so whatever your level two is wherever you are in the world this is a level two um, it is a big stamp set so and they're big images so you get two sets of stamps you get the set of stamps that gives you sort of the detailed line drawings and you get the set of stamps that gives you the infill bit and then you get some nice sentiments and things so a big stamp set um, as I say and that is free if you're placing a 90 pound order some really nice samples um, in the in the brochure really pretty I love that little notebook with the spotty paper that's really lovely um, here's here's one I made earlier this is getting quite a bit of interest on interest on Pinterest um, so I did this for a blog hop a couple of weeks ago and you'll also find if you go to my Pinterest board um, I have a board and I'll link it when I edit this video I have got a board that sort of is inspiration from nature for our card making and I have put a, a hummingbird section on there because hummingbirds come in such beautiful colours so you can really play with the colours on your hummingbirds um, so let's say there's one I've made earlier 
So let's have a little look at making some cards and what we've got in our in our set. I have a cup of tea on hand. I've picked out some of these papers. Now these papers are another um, something you can get free during celebration and these are the ombre papers and they're really lovely because you get um, it's just the four colours they're sort of Rococo Rose you've got um, Granny Apple Green you've got Bermuda Bay and what makes me think there should be another colour or am I just dreaming is it just the three one, two three no there is there's another one I knew there was and um, Blackberry Bliss there we go so you've got Blackberry Bliss Bermuda Bay Granny Apple Green Rococo Rose and you've got this dotty pattern and you've got this ombre pattern in all of those colours and you've got lots of them and they're really fabulous for creating backgrounds obviously really great if you're doing something that you want to do um, quite a few of you want to sort of you know make a set of something so if you're making up note cards or something like that they're really good um so let's have a little bit of play with these ombre papers so they're six by six as i say and you get the that's why i couldn't find the blackberry bliss easily look i've got them there we're going to use granny apple green so i'm going to go with the ombre first um i think i'm going to take it this way and I'm going to cut that to 10 centimetres wide by 14.4. So that is your sort of first level mat, whatever that would normally be on your cardstock. And then I'm going to take um, a, let's go five centimetre strip of the, uh, the bubbly paper. Just look like bubbles, doesn't it? We'll cut that to 14.4 as well. So we're going to have that sitting on that, like that. So we're going for a quick and easy card here. I've already, to make it even quicker and easier, punched out a two and a quarter inch circle. And I'm going to take the butterfly They are a really good size these stamps so they're not they're not your tiny little butterflies that you use to cover up mistakes they are a substantial butterfly they're still very sticky <laughs> okay we won't pick it up off the glass mat the glass mat is holding on to it tighter than the um the acrylic block can pull it so let's ink that up with some memento and we will wiggle that round and that should just about sit on there beautiful a beautiful butterfly And then let's take the solid stamp, which is going to give us our infill colour. And I've got, funnily enough, some granny apple green. And I am going to get my piercing mat out for this one because it is it's a large solid stamp. So let's just line that up. Now you can see, or hopefully you can see, that that doesn't perfectly fit within the lines. It's meant to give you sort of a overlap type effect. Just like that. Let's find ourselves a 
a bit of thick white. My whisper white is getting, my supplies are getting shorter and shorter. Um, but obviously here in the UK, um, we are experiencing some difficulties with um, deliveries. It has nothing to do with stamping up. Stamping up our, um, the, the orders are being um, put through the um, warehouse as normal and um, are being dispatched as normal. UPS are doing their very best. They are collecting them from the warehouse. Um, but the problem is getting them through customs and over the border. And that isn't because of paperwork that is wrong. That is just because of the system. And um, one of the issues that we're having at the moment is our orders go into a big consignment with other orders from other companies. And if there is one set of customs forms in that big consignment that is wrong, it holds all of them up. Um, so little bits of sort of, you know, teething troubles we hope that will be overcome. But for now, just a weeny bit frustrating. But we keep on crafting and we keep on smiling and we remember all of those other wonderful products that we have in our craft room. I'm sure I'm not the only one that is in danger of running out of things. This is the perfect opportunity to be using the bits and pieces that you've just got sitting there. The stamp sets that you've bought and not used. Now is the time to be getting them out. And if you can't remember what you wanted to do with it or lacking in inspiration, then fill in one of the forms on my dear Mrs. Ducky. Let's get you using it. Right, I've got to thank you so much here. I'm just going to thank you so much onto that piece of card just there. Could get my trimmer out. I'm going to get my big scissors. I tend to be a big scissors girl. But however you ease it most easily. Cut these things. Let's just have a little and somewhere, yes, I picked up some linen thread. Let's build this up. So as you could see, you could very easily mass produce these cards and you could do all different colours and you could do them very, very easily. Going to take some of my linen thread. I'm going to have it so that my bow comes this side. So I'm going to pop my thumb there to hold that down. And I wrap that round a couple of times. We'll tie our bow. We can always move it in a minute because we haven't stuck it on the pack. So we won't stick this layer down until we're happy with where our bow is situated. Let's trim that off for now. And we'll no doubt have a bit of a play with that in a minute. I think this will put some dimensionals on. I've put them so they're sort of not going across the middle so we'll be able to play with this still. I think it needs to come this way a smidge. We might need it to come back a smidge in a minute but for now, well I don't know, that's, that's not bad. That's very curly isn't it? Let's take our fingers and Run those ends through our fingers like that. And we'll open that up a bit. 
beautiful. Look at that, isn't that lovely? So we could equally have done a um, Blackberry Bliss Butterfly. I should have trimmed that one a little bit, never mind. And we'll have a thank you so much. Um, I think possibly there. Come away. And let's just have a quick little rifle through the the shiny things. And let's put a few little now where have you gone? I do it every time, don't I? I try and pick them up with my fingers and then they pick thick. I should sort of learn my lesson, but do we ever? So there's a really quick and easy card using those um, stamps. As I say, that's the sort of card you could just go along and cut all your paper, have all that ready to go, punch out all your circles, have that all ready to go, punch lots of butterflies, punch lots of insides, punch lots of greetings, put them together, big bad bosh. You'd have a whole little stack of cards really quite quickly. So really good for um, quick and easy cards, but really still pretty. And that really highlights as well how useful that paper is. But as I was sort of um, mooching through Pinterest myself, as I do, as I'm sure we all, most of us do, um, I did see a card that was layered up that I quite like. So um, let's have a go at one in various little layers. I think I'm going to use the butterfly again. This time, let's take, um, hmm. I don't use very vanilla ever so often. Let's, let's use some very vanilla. I'm going to take a piece of very vanilla and I'm going to cut this to nine and a half by uh, 13.9 so that is your sort of standard second size mat if you happen to be somewhere that's not using a four card stock and we will cut a piece of card in half so that's 14.9 for us or thereabouts um, and We'll score it. Let's not cut it at ten and a half. So standard size card base and second size mat down. I haven't decided what colour we're going to have a mat in between and what colour. Um, we'll decide that as we go along. Right, I'm going to take this gorgeous big sort of leafy stamp here. This one. And I think I'm going to go in quite, quite pale, not, not the palest green, but fairly pale. I'm going to go in with, um, that's right, just looking for my piercing mat. Let's pop that underneath there. I've got some pear pizzazz here. Mm. 
And I'm going to be putting things over the middle so I'm not worried about what happens here. And again, not worried about that centerpiece. So we can ignore that centerpiece, but we've got some greenery coming around the outside there. Ooh. I forget every time I use my pear pizzazz that my pear pizzazz is in need of replacing. Right, I'm going to take, where's that other piece of um, pear pizzazz? So let's pop that to one side for a minute. It looks very odd, but hopefully it will all come together nicely. I'm going to stamp another pear pizzazz background there. Then I'm going to take this odd looking stamp here, which is the Pear Pizzazz Infill stamp. Let's just find ourselves a bit of scrappy paper. Let's stamp that off. Do you know, I don't think I'm going to. Can you see how much detail you get in that stamp? It does actually, it doesn't give a completely sort of solid image. So actually, I think if I stamp that off, that will make it too pale. Let's just make sure we're happy with where that's going. Yes. And let's take I can't shut that up, I'll put it on back to front, which is not clever. Right, I've got my infill stamp, where's my other one gone? There has to be something, doesn't there? In the course of one of our Facebook Lives, there has to be something that we turn our back and it runs in the other direction. Aha, here it is. So this is the floral stamp. And I think I'm gonna go Blushing Bride. So there's a really pretty stamp. So again, we're going to take the solid stamp that fills it in. Wiggle that round till we're happy with it. And the nice thing about this, if you are a little bit wobbly, it is very forgiving because it does it doesn't fit perfectly. And then we're gonna go back to our butterfly. Oh, but what colour to have him? We've got green and we've got pink. Slurp of tea. So we could go, could perhaps go yellow. I think we might 
go as bright as Mango Melody. My daffodil delight seems to have wandered. Let's go Bumblebee. Come in again with our infill. I'm actually going to do a second butterfly just to decide which one I prefer. So it doesn't matter where it goes, I'm just going to turn that round. At this time I am going to stamp that off because it is a much stronger colour. And we'll decide. Yeah, I think I quite like the paler one. Okay. Let's get some scissors. And I'm going to cut these out with a bit of a border just because that helps when it comes to cutting around things like feelers. bodies and things. Obviously, if you were doing this at home, you would be taking probably a lot more time than I'm taking. Right, there we have a butterfly. I'm going to ignore that butterfly for now. flowers As always, if you're cutting, you move the paper rather than the scissors. And last but not least, our leaves. Let's take some of this excess off. I know some people really hate cutting things out like this. Um, I actually find it quite therapeutic back in the early days of my card making I used to do quite a bit of 3d decoupage 
that I'd cut by hand rather than sort of the die cut came in is quite a novelty. And of course you can decoupage up quite a few of our stamped images as well so you could make your own 3D decoupage. We're more building layers with this one. Layers of different stamps rather than a layer of one stamp. As I said, if you're doing this at home, you'll probably take a lot more time than I have. I might trim some of these stalks in a minute. Now one of the other things that we do have in here is we have this little sort of dotty stamp. Before I stick any of that down in place, I'll take this dotty stamp and add a few blushing bride dots round about the place. Some, some coming down here somewhere. And I think I might go with a blushing bride mat. I'm going to cut this to 14.4 by 10. Um, underneath there. It's really quite pretty, isn't it? And we've got, we've got a best wishes, we've got a um, thank you so much, thinking of you, love, hello friend. Let's have a little hello friend. Mm. I think I'm going to go pear pizzazz with that. I'm going to eat that up in pizzazz. Add that in there. So let's do some sticking sorry people if I've just thanked you I've just realized that I'm not seeing either nobody is talking to me this morning or I'm not seeing any comments well, I will go back and have a look at those later, whether it's because of the way I came on live, I don't know. But normally I can see you all chatting to me on my phone. So apologies if you've all been chatting and shouting things at me that I've not been able to see. I'm going to take the... There you are. Take the stalk on that leaf and just take that off a little bit, and we'll come in with some some mini dimensionals. Oh, we might need a new sheet of mini dimensionals. Have I got one to hand? Uh, 
as always, everything but. That's fine. I'll make sure I've got some out for next time. I'm just going to snip because obviously we're not going to waste the edges. And they will work perfectly in there. In fact, actually, might even work better. Let's put some dimensionals on the back of those leaves. So if you have had any questions or I will come in and respond to those. So apologies, I don't know why I haven't got comments this morning. It's because it's Monday morning. There always has to be something on a Monday morning. Let's have that in there. I'm going to take the stalk off of that, those pink flowers. Now, I'm actually wondering, I think I might stick those on flat under there. And then we'll have our butterfly. He'll need some raising up and some being flat. So I'm going to put him a bit of a dimensional under this bottom wing just here and a little bit just where his body and feelers are. I'm just going to put a bit of a spot of glue on there just to hold that in place. And we'll have him coming about there, I think. You've got that sort of 3D effect there with this sort of just layered up and having done it in very vanilla that gives it a different look again. We could have added in some twine in there if you'd wanted to with a thread or something, dash of ribbon. That's really quite pretty. Just wondering. Oh, look, the new pastel pearls. Some of these pink pearls will look really quite pretty on there I think. Look at that, really lovely aren't they? These are from the Hydrangea Suite. I think they're pastel pearls but that doesn't mean that you can only use them on the Hydrangea Suite. They're there for wherever you want to put them. So we've got a really quick and simple one. We've got one with layers. And we're doing quite well for time, so let's go, let's let's go marathon and go for a third. Quick slurp of now going cold tea. I'm going to pop my peppers as ink pad to one side so that I don't put my arm in it. Now the other thing we could do, um, does anybody else's mind go blank on the name of stamp sets? I've, got, I've obviously got quite a few stamp sets here sitting beside me on my shelf and I think, I know, I'll use that one. And they're all in alphabetical order. So all I need to do is remember the name of the stamp set to be able to locate it. But that appears to be where we get lost. <laughs> Remembering the name of the stamp set. Um, it's 
excuse me, just sing amongst yourselves just while I flick through my stamp sets. Wondering if I put it somewhere strange and that's why I can't see it. I've got, I don't know what it is, a pigeon or a magpie or something dancing the light fandango on the uh, roof of the conservatory. It's very odd. The stamp set I am looking for appears. Aha. Timeless. Very Versailles. I knew it was the end of the alphabet. I'm thinking I'm sure this stamp set is the end of the alphabet. It is. It's just there. So, that's some... Ooh. What colours to do now? Um... That looks like a fun selection, doesn't it? I think I'm going to go pretty peacock. And for a change, let's cut it in half at ten and a half. So split whatever your cardstock is in half lengthwise and then score in half to make a side opening. Card like that. I'm going to take a piece of crumb cake and I'm going to cut this to ten by 14.4 actually no, I'm going to leave that at 10 by 14.4 because I'm going to also cut this at 10 by 14.4 Here, I'm going to tear. So I'm tearing it towards me. If you tear it towards you, that's when you get the, the fluffy edges. If you're tearing it away from you, look, you get a, a straighter edge. So if you want those fluffy edges where the layers of the cardstock are revealed, you need to tear it towards you. So that will now sit on there quite nicely because we cut them the same size to start with. So we've now got a border. Right, where's that very Versailles stamp gone? Just here. I'm going to take some crumb cake. The, oh, we need this stamp to come this way. I'm just randomly going to stamp some of this lovely script stamp over the back there. Um, I'm then going to take one of our new blending brushes. Let's tap that in there.
bring that round the edge I'm actually going to go a bit stronger I think I'm going to come in with the soft suede oh I can see that I can see that that is coming around the edge I think it needs to be a tad stronger that's better Our class with our blending brushes we've had to um, postpone because of the problems with the uh, orders at the moment but that does mean if you do want to join us for the class if you already have some blending brushes or even if you just want to join us for the class to see what we do with them and play with them when you get them you can do Right, so I don't know how well you can pick up that sponging around the edges, but that's just given that a bit of a nice grungy feel to it. So we've got our pretty peacock card base, our um, Rococo Rose Matte and our um, our script on the background there. Right, I'm going to take time we're going to go with the with the um, hummingbird and I'll take I think early espresso We'll stick with the sort of brown rather than going quite to black. Let's ink him up. We'll have him on there. And then we'll take some of those flowers let's build some Whole load of flowers around that edge there. Now I think I'm going to take decisions, decisions. Come in with some cocoa rose. Now, obviously, it's not on a white background, so it is going to alter the colour slightly. had thought about that I haven't done perhaps we'll do another day is obviously we've got the rainbow um, foil it wouldn't work with this card because we've got sort of quite a vintagey grungy background um, but I wonder how the hummingbird would look in um, rainbow foil There's something to have a play with. Again, you'd take much more time over this than I am.
we are. Let's give need to give him a bit of a Come in with some light Rococo Rose and dark Rococo Rose on here. And then let's bring in some pretty peacock on his wings just to tie those colours together that we've used for the cardstock and uh, make our hummingbird. Multicoloured. Just looking, have we got that little, that little spotty stamp? I'm going to come in, I think. This is with some bit of soft suede, and then for a greeting. I'm going to have thinking of you because that's quite nice sort of muted tones in there so it's the sort of card that you could use if you need such a thing as a um sympathy card Let me just grab my Simply Chamois. Sorry if I've just knocked you, but let's get rid of some of that ink on there because otherwise we're going to be transferring it everywhere. Let's come in again with some linen thread. I wonder if that's going to be enough. just have to go round once. Oh, <laughs> it's so curly because it's the end of the end of the reel. that end off there let's stick that down that round before that sticks permanently is that going to come just need that to come that way a little bit and thinking I'll take that on a bit of an angle so 
that very Versailles stamp set is um, is a gorgeous stamp set to turn for your vintagey looking cards. that on a bit of an angle like that there we go so that wasn't bad going was it we did crack three out there in an hour not bad going so if we uh, bring in here's one I made earlier this one obviously was colored with st um, stamping blends we have this one that's just using those lovely papers. So that one wasn't made today. That was a, here's one I made earlier. Um, this one, we've used those layers, created all those different layers and used those beautiful pearls. And then this one, we've gone with a very different colorway and made a sort of muted thinking of you card that's sort of a bit grungy, a bit vintagey. So one stamp set that is a money can't buy stamp set you can only get um, by um, placing an order um, of here in the UK 90 pounds or whatever your second level celebration order level is but then it can be yours for free and you can be creating beautiful cards to your heart's content and if you do make a um, hummingbird with rainbow foil do share it with us and let us see. So have a good week, everybody. Don't forget to send in those um, dear Mrs. Ducky problems that you'd like me to help you solve. And I will be back on Friday.